Adventure. Mount Pumlet on W4CY Radio. Wake up, America! It's time for the adventures of Hype Man on W4CY.com, West Palm Beach's number one internet radio station. Here's your host, the Hype Man. This is Pipe Man here on the Adventures Pipe Man W4CY Radio, and I'm here with Crobot. <laughs> I love it, love it. I would, you know, listen, I was so excited you're going to be here today because you guys are like the most fun band ever. We paid you to say that. Yeah, but, you know, it wasn't enough. <laughs> Here's another dollar. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's funny. We were just talking about strip clubs. Now you're offering me a dollar. Hey, <laughs> I still haven't seen you shake it, baby. I know. Well, <laughs> I, I tell you what, though. You might have some fun if you shake it with that vest for those girls behind me. They love your vest. Oh, the okay. They this wa- thing stinks. They want it. <laughs> this has been like, I want to say probably eight years I've had this thing, and it smells like it. You've never washed I've never it. dry cleaned it once. Yeah, see? And just for simple principle, I don't think I'm ever gonna. Right? I don't think I'm gonna. It might ruin it. It's, it's part of its charm, It probably right? will. It's like, it's like giving, it's like taking away Jack Daniels from Lemmy. Oh, it's you don't. It's just what's do, keeping it don't alive. Don't do that. It's the funky stuff. Don't you know? do that, you know? Um, you should have Lemmy perform with you. You know, like, from the like dead. post-mortem? Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> It, it, it couldn't smell any worse. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. See? <laughs> you could have a contest. Which smells more, Lemmy <laughs> or your vest? And after. Right? <laughs> so, uh, have you ever played Rock Loma before? I don't even remember. Uh, this is my first time, but Brandon, yes. Uh-huh. Second time, right? Second time. Last time we played here, there was a tornado. I hear that's just about every year. Oh, yeah. So oh, nothing yeah. special that, about We thought there was something so special about that. And we got I, there like, I, that's like every year, dude. I know, right? And you, Christine and I were talking about this earlier. And she said, you got to have him tell the story of when he was here for the tornado. Yeah. So tell yeah. him. So we were running around being nuts. And I think Jared James Nichols came into our dressing room. And we were drinking and having a great time. And then all of a sudden, well, at, no, we were the last band to play, actually. Yeah. We, but we just got done playing, and we went to our dressing room, and Jared James Nichols came in, and we were drinking, drinking, drinking. And then we hear this rumor, like, everything's getting shut down. Everything's getting shut down. You know, batting down the hatches. And we're just in these, like, trailers. Like, we got here this year, and they're like, oh, they smartened up. They put us in, like, storage units this time. I don't think the, I don't think a tornado is lifting these that, things off the That's only because the trailers are gone. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's it. And I think what had happened is uh, we got out a Dodge before, before everything went down. And by everything went down, I mean Tool's video wall oh. went, came crashing down. I think it was $2 million worth oh, of my LED God. video wall. I just came crashing down. Maynard was not happy. I'm Maynard sure. was not happy. <laughs> no, um, but yeah, that was that was the story. We got out of here and and we did. And w- actually, we stopped at a gas station, and we realized we, we weren't in Kansas anymore. When they had all <laughs> the you know, all the windows barred up and and the doors were locked, and uh, you know we're like we, we just got to take a pee and and we're outside just peeing outside, and. Uh, we start hearing the sirens, like the town sirens, oh. and no, nobody in sight, right? Everything's a ghost town, and we're just like, we got to get the hell out of here. Put your pee-pees away. It's time to go. <laughs> oh, my God. And did you get out of Dodge uh, w- w- without a scratch? <laughs> well, I don't know about without a scratch, but we made it with just about all of our body parts. So I have an interesting tornado story. Yeah. Because I live in Florida. 
So we have that crap, too. And as you know, you've played Rockville. It's always fucking evacuated every year because it's during hurricane season. Go figure. But <laughs> I was sitting with my neighbor across the street on, his, on the bed of his pickup truck. We're just hanging out. And we look behind my house, and a tornado touched down my backyard. And we just looked at each other and we're like, well, there's nowhere we can go. We don't have time. So good luck with this. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking thing, like, uh, obviously it worked out well. I'm here, but it jumped over my house, over our heads, over his house and touched down in his backyard. Whoa. And we were just like, oh, shit. What kind of bad stuff are you guys doing there? Uh, That's I'm, like. Well, that's fl- like it's a Carm- Florida. It's Carminado. Florida. Come on. Do you have to say <laughs> any more? Like, is there a reason we always have hurricanes and tornadoes? Like, God is trying to wipe us out. <laughs> it's because it's so beautiful there all the time. Yeah, well, except the people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, what's new going on with Crobot? Well, there may be some rumors. We may or may not be writing some new material. We may or may not be getting into the studio soon. We may or may not be thinking about some music videos and releasing, cascading, getting ready for a new record. Maybe, allegedly. I don't know. I'm just saying. Can't confirm nor deny. (laughs) Sure. (laughs) That's a pretty incredible hypothesis you have there, Dan. Are you going to be creating new TikToks, though? Yeah, yeah. Mostly mostly just in our minds, though, because, uh, you know, actually doing and posting to TikTok takes a lot of time. It is a lot of work, It's a lot it? of work, and I don't know if it's just because, like, I'm, I'm on that verge of, like, boomerism <laughs> in the way that I work technology. But uh, it's a lot of work. I'm it's telling work. you, I, you know, after doing a few TikToks, I'm like, I got like 500 drafts in my TikTok. I'm like, fuck this. It's too much work. Yeah. That's not, I mean, you, you just tend to overthink it. Yeah. 100%. So, yeah, we'll be thinking about, we'll be overthinking about making some new TikToks. How about, how about your OnlyFans? How's that doing? Oh, that's been great. <laughs> you don't got to think about that. All, the, all you do there is just hit record. Yeah, the scene I mean, there's no thought into that at all. So, question is, okay, so from what I hear, the number one only fans and number two are feet and eating. Do, do you do both? Yeah, eat feet. Yeah. I mean, yeah. why, why not? It's writing itself already. See? And Look at I, that. See, we, we don't have to overthink it. We just, we just crush some grapes. Right. And OnlyFans will, the algorithm will work its magic and we'll be number one in no time. There you go. We're in the wrong business here, I'm tell- man. I'm telling you. We, we got to be crushing some grapes on that's OnlyFans. That's right. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Squeezing some lemons with our toes. <laughs> I, I, I think I'm going to puke. <laughs> oh, Easy my God. peasy lemon toesy. So that, see, I'm giving you material for, you know, a supposed album. Like, okay. if there were a new Crowbot album, yeah, you could sing about OnlyFans. Write a song about OnlyFans. We could, or we could do an Only Dance, which yes, please, please sing about me. <laughs> if you were to do, okay, now I'm gonna put you on the spot. All right. If you were gonna sing a song about oh, Only Dance, sing it for me. With uh, what would the lyrics be right now? Only Dan's is the only man's. <laughs> only place for the only fans. <laughs> See? Only Dan's! I love it. See, that, that's, what, that's what people, that's what we need to do in interviews from now on. Like, instead of press people just asking, how do you get your band name? Just you go around all the press people and just have... Like, collaborate and write a song in every interview, and then you have a whole album. <laughs> on, on the spot, Johnny. Right? Yeah. Come on, that's a great idea. Like, I, right? I, I love it. I, I especially like to just make it up on the fly. Right. Um, 
and nobody ever knows where I'm going with it, not even me. Well, if you knew, then you'd know. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and and not knowing is the best I want part. That, I think I want that on my headstone. <laughs> See? Mark that down. <laughs> put it in your will. <laughs> And also put a disclaimer, if you don't fucking put that, I'm coming back to haunt you. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, what else should we talk about? Like, what do you got to tell the people that we haven't covered? Hmm, see, that's a tough question, right? Yeah, this is, this is the last show for a little while. So, we're going to be locking... The, the, the locks on the woodshed and, and, you know, just pumping out some new material. And wait, wait, wait. Supposed new yeah, material. Yeah, allegedly. Come on now. Right. right. This is a hypothetical <laughs> situation. Uh, I I didn't write it. Chat GPT did. So please excuse me that it uh, this is not my script. Now you're deviating away from boomerism, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Diving back in. The cusp. The cusp. Yeah. <laughs> what about that? Like, now there's probably, you know, there were bands that formed themselves as you know, with millions of TikTok followers copying other music. And now there's going to be bands that are just going to write music with chat GBT and not know what the fuck they're doing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it takes away all the five writers, right? right? I mean, not speaking for ourselves. Can chat GBT play a guitar, though? I don't think chat GPT will ever be rock and roll enough. Right? To ever replace us. There you go. They could see? never smell like this. I'll tell they you that right now. They certainly could not so replace it's... Crobot. There's a few other bands, maybe even play it here, that they could replace, but not Crobot. That... Well, thank you, sir. Of course. So, where has been your favorite gig in your whole musical career? See, I've interviewed you so many times, i got to come up with new questions, you know? <laughs> Whoa! See, he's got to think about that, was, that. That was our only fans, fans, our only dance fans. Better. Only dance. Quiet, quiet, quiet on he, the set. He, he's off the clock. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think? What do you think? Can you think of it? You're supposed to say rock, Loma. <laughs> <laughs> Oklahoma 2023. Uh, I don't. I don't know. There have been so many great places that we played throughout the years. We've had the pleasure of playing with so many great bands, and 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 some way we've pinched me. But we've we've been on so many great tours. Um, I can't. I can't think of a single single show in in memory because um, it's my memory is just really bad. But. Uh, I was very fond of the Motorhead tour that we were on. Well, who and wouldn't? And in hindsight, man? you know, it was the last U.S. tour. You're like a Lemmy Mini Me. I've been told that. Right? I've been told that. See? Yeah. It's, it's all the chops. <laughs> That's it. That's what it is. It yeah. is the chops. Yeah. So I got something fun to do. You want to do something fun? Only that I know you would love doing this. See that dude over there with the dreads? I want you guys to yell at him, fuck Sean Nations. He's in another band, this band, actually, even in death. His name's Sean Nations. But it's a big joke around Rocklahoma that everybody's yelling, fuck Sean Nations. So you got to say it loud enough so he hears it. He's not being interviewed, so you're not interrupting. Fuck Sean Nations. Fuck Sean Nations. What the fuck? Fuck Sean Nations. (laughs) He got us on video. Uh, <laughs> he immediately pulled out his phone. I, I love it. So are there any final words you want to leave me with before I get ready? Uh, <laughs> queef. And how do, you li- how do you like your queef? How do I like my queef? In the morning. Wet. There you go. <laughs> do, do they squirt when they queef? Are we even allowed to talk like this in 2023? <laughs> I'm just around all these 80 Sunset Strip bands. And it's like all coming back to me. <laughs> and listen, we, we've been on tour with Steel Panther, so it's nothing that we haven't seen before. Right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys fucking rock. One of my favorite festival entertainments is Crobot. 
Well, thank you, man. And uh, thanks for being on the Adventures Pipe Man. Oh, of course. Always a pleasure. Always. Oh, one last thing before I let you go. Let's tell everybody how to reach out to you on socials, on the web, and buy your fucking merch because they can't listen to this interview unless they buy your merch. Uh, Crowbotband.com and also OnlyFans.com slash Crowbotband and OnlyDans.com. No slash. It's Dan owns it. It's only Dan. <laughs> it's only Dan. Okay. Cool. You guys rock. Your hair rock, Oklahoma. I love it. And uh, fuck. That's badass. Woo! Thank you for listening to the Adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY Radio.